Should I introduce myself first? No. no. I don't think okay. so. Okay. Good morning. Thank you for coming here today. Societies are ultimately judged by how they protect their most innocent and most vulnerable members. When I was elected to the Missouri House, I pledged to fight for the right to life of the unborn and to protect Missouri women from being victimized by abortion. House Bill 1831 does just that. It makes sure that women are given full and accurate information about the reality of abortion, and it protects women from being coerced into having an abortion. Last week, Senator Ken Jacob sent a letter to me that was published in the Columbia Daily Tribune. In that letter, he challenged the constitutionality of, the, of my bill and challenged me to a debate, as he put it, anytime, anywhere. Well, you know, Senator Jacob may have been able to bully people over in the Missouri Senate, but he can't bully me. Not on this issue. It's just too important. Today, I take him up on his challenge. I challenge him to debate the constitutionality of my House Bill 1831, as he put it, any place, anywhere, anytime. Senator Jacob is wrong, dead wrong, about House Bill 1831. It is constitutional, and it is a mainstream effort to protect women and innocent human life. It passed, in fact, with an overwhelming bipartisan majority, 113 to 33. Only 33 of the most extreme pro-abortion liberals in the Missouri House voted against my bill. No, I look forward to debating Senator Jacob to standing up for innocent human life as I've done here in Jefferson City and as I will do as the next congressman from the 9th Congressional District. Thank you all for being here this morning and I look forward to you all covering our debates. So, uh, you're debating him when and where? You well, you know, you Senator, you know specific time and place? Senator Jacob is from Columbia. I'll uh, defer to him to set up the time and place of that debate. I'm from St. Charles County. I'll set up the time and place there, and then we could reach mutual agreement on the other uh, venues and times. So you haven't reserved a specific place and set up a time already? Not yet. How does your bill uh, meet the undue burden standard? Yeah, the undue, the undue burden standard, the question is whether a given law or regulation places an undue burden on the woman's right to an abortion as promulgated by the Supreme Court. And the Planned Parenthood versus Casey and then Gonzalez v. Carhartt have both said that giving women information about the reality of abortion, even if that, informa that information ha might have the effect of persuading a woman to choose life and to carry her baby to term, that that is constitutional. The Supreme Court's been very clear on this point. So where does your bill stand, Senator? Yeah, right now, it, uh, last week, um, last Monday, I went over to the Senate Judiciary Committee and testified for my bill. Um, I believe they're going to be voting it out of committee today, and then it'll go to the Senate floor. There's only two weeks left. Do you have any assurance that the Senate leadership is willing to move the previous question to pass this? Because without it, it's not going right. to pass. Right. With, with the Senate, you never have an assurance of anything. But um, I, it's my understanding that uh, Senator Mayer, who's my bill handler over on the Senate side, is working with Senate leadership to do everything they can to get that bill passed. So do you, do you have any assurances that you can get debated on the floor? You know, again, I'm not a senator myself, so I haven't been guaranteed anything, but from talking to Senator Mayer, he is quite optimistic we'll be able to get this done and passed into the governor's desk. How can you be optimistic when you know, it takes just one senator to talk for a little bit of time? Well, you're right. It would require the Senate leadership and this, the majority of the senators to move the previous question, but again, we're, we're, we're optimistic we'll be able to get it done. If you're, if you're in Congress and presuming that all the analysts are correct and the Democrats remain in control, what exactly could you do as a congressman that would further your aims to restrict abortion rights? Well, certainly, even in the major minority, standing up and proclaiming the truth of this issue is, is, is very important. But over time, you know, political tides come and go, and over time, I believe that we'll again have a pro-life majority in the U.S. Congress, and we'll be able to get good pro-life legislation passed. 
Well, thank you all. Thank you all for coming.